Hello, I'm Mr. Tan. So we talk about P3, topic 4, multiplication table of 6, 7, 8, and 9. So in this mastery level 1, you learn how to skip count by 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So skip count means you throw away from 1 times 6, go to 12, 18, 24, 30. So you plus 6 mentally. So this is called skip count. 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. So for seven times table, you should be able to skip count to 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. So for eight, you should be able to do 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. So the shortcut is that, okay? First, you memorize half of it first. So 5 times 6 is 30, followed by 10 times 6 is 60. You can see a zero. Then 5 times 7 is 35. After you memorize this, you memorize the next part up to 10 times 7, 70, 70. Then 5 times 8 is 40. Then up to here, 10 times 8, point nine zero eighty. 80. Well, skip count of 9, there's a pattern. 1 times 9, can you see a 9? 2 times 9, here is a 1, here is an 8. 3 times 9, here is 2 and 7. So you can see that here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in tens. And for once, it decreases from 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So when people ask you 5 times 9, you'll say 45. If they ask you 10 times 9, you say 90. Example 3. Using multiplication fact to find other multiplication fact. For example, 6 times 8, you are stuck or you have not memorized. You do 5 times 8. So you memorize the first half, 5 times 8 gives 40. Then 6 is one more group of 8, so you plus 8 for another group, so you get 48. So if you ask you 9 times 8, so if you are stuck or you have not memorized, then you do 10 times 8, 80, 8, 0. So 10 group, but you ask for 9, right? 9 times 8, 9 group. So you minus away 1 group of 8, that gives you 72. Take some time to do this question. So now I'll give you the answer. 6 times 5, 30. 7 times 3, 21. 8 times 4, 32. 9 times 3, 27. 6, 7, 42. 7, 8, 56. 9, 8, 72. 9, 7, 63. 6, 9, 54. Is 6, 48. Now we go to mastery level 2. So the objective is to learn to do division using multiplication facts. So earlier on, we touched on multiplication. So now we touch on division equation. It's related. You see, 6 times 9 equals 54. So how about taking 54 divided by 6? So it's like walking backwards, you get a 9. 9 times 6 is 54. So 54 divided by 9, that will give us 6. So can you see the pattern? Let's look at what problem. Example two, Fiona bought 18 muffins. She put all the muffins equally into six trays. How many muffins are there in each tray? So 18 divided by six, that is three. So there are three muffins in each tray. Example three, Fiona bought 18 muffins. She put all the muffins equally into trays of three. How many trays are there? So 18 divided by three, you get six trays. Now, take some time to do this division practice.
And now I'll give the answer. So this is a five, this is a seven, this is a nine, this is a five, this is a six, this is a nine, this is a eight. So this is a seven, this is a nine, so this is a seven. So with that, we come to the end. So practice more on our e-learning website, www.studysingaporemaths.com. Thank you, and wish you a good day. Okay, goodbye. So